my YouTube friends. Multi-streaming is all the rage these days. And I totally get that. If your content strategy is built around live streaming, why not reach the largest audience possible with your content? So I decided to do a video series that's gonna show you how to connect OBS to all the different platforms easily. And today I'm gonna to show you how to connect OBS to Twitch. It's pretty easy stuff, so you know what? Let's get to it! Now for this video, I'm gonna assume that you already have your Twitch account all set up. If not, you may wanna do that first and then pick up the video from here and follow along. Let's connect up to OBS. All right, so here we are in OBS and keep in mind that we've already connected to Twitch and we have an account. What we wanna do here is go up into profile and you're not gonna have all these profiles. I have a lot of profiles. You're, you're just gonna have probably no profiles or just one that says, you know, basic or something. Um, so we're gonna create a new profile here and we wanna make sure that show auto configuration wizard is selected. We're gonna go ahead and name it. And why not name it where we're streaming to? In this case, Twitch. So we'll just click okay. And there we go. We wanna optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. And then we wanna set up our base canvas resolution and our frames per second. So we can just set it to 60 here if we want, or we can do this uh, 60 or 30, but 60 is preferred when possible is fine. However you wanna do this to set this up. If you're going to Twitch, I'm assuming you're doing games, which means you probably want it at 60 frames per second. You could just drop this down and select 60 if you like. I'm just gonna leave it here, click next. Now we're gonna select our service, which in this case is Twitch, and we're gonna connect account right here. It's just gonna bring this up. And so all we need to do is put in our username and our password for our Twitch account. So we'll just paste our username in here and our password. We're gonna click login and we're gonna to need to do a login verification and they send this to an email address or whatever. So just uh, open up your email and get that verification code and then just paste it in. And it authenticates. So here we wanna select prefer hardware encoding and estimate the bit rate. Now you can use test enhanced broadcasting and the information on what that is is right down in here. Just be aware, it does send Twitch information about your computer and your software setup. So if you're into privacy and that sort of stuff, well, you may not want to test the enhanced broadcasting. And I'm going to leave it unchecked, click next, and it's going to run a bunch of tests to see exactly what the optimum settings are for your computer and for your connection. Now, once the tests are finished, you're going to get this output screen here. And it says Twitch, it gives you your server and multi-track video your bit rate, all that sort of stuff. It's gonna tell you what your recording encoder is and your recording quality right here and your canvas and all that sort of stuff, which is fine because it's gonna set this same hardware encoder for your streaming encoder. You can see where it sets your video bit rate and your streaming encoder and your streaming scaled resolution as automatic. But if you see the proper recording encoder down here, it's gonna set this to the same one. So needless to say, if you do not have like an NVIC card, this will be X264. You wanna make sure that your quality is optimal. So in my case, 1920 by 1080, and then 1920 and 1080 right here. And of course, 60 frames per second, which is what we were shooting for. If your machine is not capable of 60 frames per second and you left it on choose, then it's going to set it at the highest rate that it can. And in this case, mine's 60, but yours could be 30 if your machine is not capable of handling 60 frames per second, which is why I like to let it choose just in case. So this is all the settings that we would normally go in here and set up manually, but it does it all for you automatically so you don't have to worry about it. We can just click apply settings and we're gonna get a nice little chat stream over here and we can dock this like that. And we also get the stream information box, which we can dock over here. And now we can basically set up all this information. We'll have our chats right here in OBS and we can set up all of our stream information over here to be ready to go ahead and set this up and then just click start streaming. Once we do that, believe it or not, we're actually live streaming on Twitch. Pretty awesome really easy to set up and now you know everything that you need to know to get started really quick streaming to twitch 
The only thing that we need to do now is show you how to multi-stream if that's what you wanted to do. And multi-streaming is generally easy. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you have one of the multi-streaming tools on here. There are a couple of different ones. We're gonna show you how to do it in the Atom multi-stream. So that's this one right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and dock this over here like that and we'll kind of drag it down. And you can see that our built-in stream is already Twitch. So let's say we wanted to multi-stream to Twitch and YouTube. Well, that's pretty easy. All we have to do is click on here and go to our main canvas section and we're gonna add an output and we're gonna select YouTube. And now all we have to do is put our output name, which in this case is YouTube output. And then we can select our YouTube server if we like which in this case, we're not going to do that. So now we just need our YouTube stream key. So let me show you how you would find the stream key for that. We're gonna go into our channel dashboard and we're gonna click the live stream button right here. And we can go to the stream right here. And when we do that, it's gonna have a stream key listed right here. So what we can do is just copy that stream key and then we can go back into OBS and we can just paste that stream key right here and click create output and boom. Now we've got the YouTube output in here. We can click okay and you can see that it's added right here. So now when we click start streaming, it should start streaming to both. Now just be aware that when you're streaming to YouTube, sometimes you're going to have to go into your YouTube stream right here and click go live. Now, if we have it set up the way we set it up right here, we won't have to do that. But there is an off chance that it could set up slightly different and you have to select go live on YouTube once you're live right here. More than likely, you're not gonna have to do that. It's just, I wanna make you aware of the possibility. So you just click start streaming. It should start live streaming to both and then you may have to go in and check on YouTube. Now, instead of YouTube, you can do Facebook or pretty much any other streaming application, and that's how you would multi-stream. And if you're looking for other videos on how to set up multi-streaming to things like Facebook and that sort of stuff, well, I've done those as well. So just go ahead and take a look through my old catalog. Now, I told you it was easy. Is there something that I missed or a platform that you wanna see a tutorial on how to connect with OBS? Let me know about it down in the comments. Now you may wanna see all your chats in one place. It really makes multi-streaming a lot easier. You can check out this video to see how you can connect all of your chats in OBS. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.